Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from True Seeker, and I'm back in Soul 666, checking out these thumbnails, and uh, let me look at this stuff. Let's see. Look at this. See how they put this black smudge here? You know, that's covering up something pretty important. It looks like there's some type of pipe here, look at this, connectors, and... I'm just going to steady and just kind of go over this because there's really not much explanation needed. I mean, they really go light on the editing of these thumbnails. And I can see why, because most people are not going to go through the trouble to uh, tear them apart. And especially zoom in with a camera, magnifying glass, whatever you want to use. But, uh, I mean, you can see there's a lot of structures, carvings. At any time, you want to pause, pause, believe me. It's well worth it. You'll be amazed at what your eyes start to notice. try to zoom in as best I can for you guys on small phones and tablets I know I'm one of those guys when I'm out and about you know I'm addicted to YouTube so I mean if there's an update to a subscription I'm watching it yeah that's just the way it is either my phone my tablet what I hate the most is when I get a good you know there's a good update like from one of the guys from the team, or, you know, or the girls. You know, like what's up in the sky, Mars Unmasked, Mars Anomalies, you know, Amazon UK, Amazon KC. <laughs> uh, I think I got everybody. Yeah. Oh, and Olympus Sky. Can't forget my buddy over there, man. You know, whenever I get, you know, updates for that, you know. Goonies for uh, for fireworks, and, yeah. Uh, whenever when I get one of those updates, I don't care where I am. You know, I just hate when I watch it on my phone, and I can't get the full effect. You know, I can't wait to get home and throw it on my 70-inch Google TV. You know, and watch my YouTube. Like I said, I'm addicted to YouTube, and I'm not ashamed of it. Sorry about that. You want the truth? If you look around Google, you'll find it on YouTube. Because you're not getting it on your news, you're not getting it in your newspaper. Look at this, how it looks like there's an entrance to some type of building. Look at these carvings. Looks like there's a wall around this. These could even be small mausoleums, you know. I'm just getting used to using this big screen. You may see a little flickering if I... Uh, go in too close or back too far. I'm just trying to get used to using it, you know. Look at these two pieces sticking up. Look at that. There's something round on a pole. I mean, look at this. This is really here. I mean, these two, look at it. There's one and there's another one. They're really there. I mean, look at the symmetry in this item. This looks like a carving of some sort. But look at this. I mean, that could be a light or something. But it's on a pole. I mean, how the hell do rocks grow like that? I mean, you got to be kidding me, NASA. Look at that statue hit there. There's another one back there. I mean, it's just ridiculous that NASA wants us to believe that there's nothing going on on Mars. Absolutely nothing. Well, I'm no dummy. And you gotta get up pretty early to fool me. Because 99% of the time I usually get the last laugh. That's something my dad taught me. Keep your mouth shut. You know. Go low. Keep a low profile. And you'll always get the last laugh. Just look at this stuff. Look at this, this looks like a big piece of pipe, bent pipe. 
mean, how the hell the rocks look at this? These are some type of symbols. And like I said, anytime hit the pause button, you will be amazed. As items start to show their 3D structure to you, as you're looking, you'll see it'll just pop. You know, when I first started looking at these pictures, especially from curiosity, spirit and, uh, you know, spirit was a little different. You know, and Pathfinder. Those pictures were a little easier to deal with. These, I really had to train my eyes to what I'm looking for. And it's nothing that anybody else can't do. I mean, it's, you know, when I first started looking at these pictures, I used to say, man, what, there's nothing here. I mean, what are you talking about? But then all of a sudden, stuff like this started to pop. You know, you could see the blocks and the, the letters and the carvings. You know, as you, as you learn how to adjust the contrast. Because I, mainly what I do, I mean, I used to try to keep it secret. You know. Yeah, I just don't want to give any advantage to NASA, but I mean, mainly what I do is I just, you know, always enlarge the picture, you change the, you know, you adjust the contrast, bump it up, bring the brightness down a little, and uh, desaturate, you know, take, this, take the color out as much as you can. There's a fine line, though. I mean, one or two clicks one way, and, uh, you know, I don't get this result. It may look good to me on the screen, but when I try to film it, forget about it. So it's, it's a fine line, you know. Like this one here took me probably about maybe an hour of, uh, you know, recording and adjusting, recording and adjusting to get to the result that I'm looking for. So, I mean, it should be, I should be happy with this one. Because I know, I just, you know, what I do is I make like 30 second videos and then I just uh, stream it to my, my TV and then from there I adjust, you know, if I need more, you know, I got to desaturate a little more, I got to add a little more color, contrast, you know. I mean, I've played around with some of the tools in uh, Adobe, but, uh, you know. To me, nothing excites me more than to take a little thumbnail like this and show you what's going on, which is minimal adjustments, minimal. And I teach a five-year-old. I mean, look at this. There is no way that this is rocks. Look at, look at these carvings. You could see the overhang. Look at it. They carved this. I believe this is like the... You could walk in here, right? Look, there's one coming up, another one. I mean, these guys are master masons. These carvers, these guys that do this, let me tell you, I mean, the guys on Earth have hard, couldn't touch these guys and, <laughs> with the best of tools. I mean, part of me believes that some of this stuff is done with lasers and something else. That big machine that I found, that machine I found on Mars, I believe that that thing is set up, it's got some type of lasers, and it, some type of system that carves out rock, because it looks like there's something shooting out of it. I believe that's, they have machinery that they use to make some of these carvings whether it's laser, who knows, you know. God only knows photon torches, who knows, I mean, <laughs> radioactive laser torches, who the hell knows, you know. We have, we'll never know, probably, but, I mean, they can have some really exotic technology. And like I always say, I believe our government and the European Space Agency and possibly... China are up 
on Mars with bases and dealing with the people of that planet. It's like a safety, it's like a safety blanket for our, our country. If there was a major, major catastrophe coming, asteroid, I mean some, you know, an extinction event, I believe all the elite are gone, gone. They're on craft and they're gone and they're going to live on other planets. Now, unfortunately, if there was a major extinction event coming, billions of us are not getting on a ship and leaving. So, it's, it's a hard fact to accept, but you, your family, your kids, your pets, you're all left to fend for yourself. You know, most of, and most of what's left here will be in huge underground bunkers. So, if you think that there's going to be, uh, you know, patrols and trust me, everybody's going to be running for ZLs. And it's only a matter of time. I mean, what the hell's going to happen someday when our sun goes to burn out? Our sun starts to swell. And what do you think's going to happen? I mean, really. Use a little common sense. What do you think's going to happen? There's, remember, our government's always got a contingency plan. And they know someday that our sun's going to burn out. It's going to swell and swell and swell. And if you don't get off this planet, you're not going to survive. What are they going to do? They're going to start moving to outer planets. So, I mean, it's just... It's just common sense that, you know, if there's a major event coming, they're gone. You know, if it's an asteroid or something, most of them are gone. And the rest can hide in underground bunkers. But trust me, it's, you know, it's a game, game reset because they don't care about us. Water supplies will diminish food. You know, we'll all kill each other. Two or three years after a major event like that, everybody, everybody would have killed each other and died. I mean, I'm sure there's bunkers that they could live in, you know, for tens of years if they had to. So, that's what I think some of the secrecy is about. Look at this. It looks like a gigantic S. I mean, if you know how to adjust these thumbnails just right, it's amazing. I mean, really, look at this. Here it looks like an entrance that you could walk through a walkway. Then there's another entrance into this building, right? See? There goes one. Then you go in. This is all open in here. Here's another entrance where you would walk in. I mean, this is huge. See, here's like a garden area, you can see. See how, the symmetry of it. You walk in and, I mean, these are just gigantic buildings and structures. I believe there's some type of monuments or grave markers, tombs. Mausoleums, whatever you want to call it. I mean, look at that. You're going to tell me that that's natural. Nobody could say that that's natural. Nobody. Even the biggest skeptic. Almost looks like it's got a checkerboard floor pattern. 
that into an entrance. Alright guys, I think you got the idea on this one. 30 seconds into it, you should have you should have got the idea. Now I'm just showing off. Alright guys, two seekers out. Love you guys.